Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you, I really appreciate. The fact that I said that, I never said that Ghana is not good. Some of you are like, what are you still doing in Ghana if Ghana is not good? No, Ghana is wonderful. To me, Ghana has been blessed to me. I've achieved a lot in Ghana, but what I'm saying is different for the way, like my own point of view, the way people treat Nigerians, that is what I'm saying. But in Ghana here, in Ghana here, things are really good. Like in business, aspects if you want to do business there are some kind of business that you do in ghana and you will benefit a lot from it ghana is good for business although ghana is quite expensive but it's still good in my next video i'm going to be stating six to seven type of business that you can do in ghana and you'll make a lot of money like ghana is good in business but quite expensive i hope all of you understand after you don't insult Ghanaian, you are in Ghana. You are in Ghana now. <laughs> After you don't train, your video is almost viral. Make your video viral right now. Ghana is good. After you don't come out to insult people, Ghana is good. <laughs> After all the insults you give, when people don't come for you now, you say Ghana is good. Oh, nobody say you mean this. Watch this video. Ogu de Kiyo. Ogu de Kiyo. Come Ghana and work as an Ashawo. Ogu won't kill you. Did I look like a Ashawo to you? Did I look like a Ashawo to you? So there is no good job in your country apart from Ashawo work, right? This is what you guys have in your country, Ghana. There is no good job in Ghana apart from Ashawo, right? In your country, Ghana. In your country, Ghana. There is no government job in your country. There is no government job in your country. 90% of your ladies are shower. So that's why you look at me and say I should come to your country and do a shower. Because your country is full of a shower. Yes. Your country is full of a shower. In all Africa country, your country na 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 sheer man of a shower. I did not blame you. Yes. I did not blame you at all. Because if your government give work to you guys, you will not come, you will not tell me to come to your country to come and do a shower. It's because of there is no job. Yes. You see, majority of them who in South Ghana, they are living in Ghana. Those one who are in South Ghana, Niger, those Niger, some of us who are in South Ghana, majority of them are living, I, I live in Ghana. After Ghanaian people, you people help me, you support me in, in different conditions. Your own way to pay them back is to come on social media and sort in Ghana, Ghana if it is Ghana, and the same way again, we are living in Ghana. It, I don't know, some of you know the fear. You know the fear, you know the fear, or you think that when you talk on social media, they know if you see you for really life, really life they will see you. I just have advice for you people, you should be careful the way you talk. Be careful the way you talk. Be careful and just advise some of you who are doing that thing. Who just come out and say Ghana is this, Ghana know it is. Be careful. Because you can after the majority of you come to Ghana, your eye will open. Your eye will not open. Then when your eye open, then you will come to see Ghana will make your eye open. Then you come to talk, say Ghana be this, Ghana be that. After they don't open your eye for you. Let's watch this video, okay? This video is for all the Nigeria living in Togo, especially those that don't understand Togo language or French, even the Togolese also. Please be very careful out there. If you are eating outside on the road, be it on bike or on car, please be very careful on where you dispose your stuff. Because Togolese people are now very, very strict on that particular issue. And they are not arresting people in case you don't know. Disgracing people for that matter. You can even pay a huge amount of money because of you throw a little dirty on the floor. So be very careful in where you dispose anything. It just happened to a lady that was in the same car with me today. Please guys, be very careful in where you dispose your dirty. I use God's name to beg you. Please. Just a little advice from me to you guys. Be very careful. Togolese are not smiling these days. I use God and beg. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. The only African country where Nigerian people they respect their self, Natogu and Bene Republic. <laughs> they don't born Nigeria where to do anyhow. Because those police are so stubborn. 
So that is the that is the particular African country that Nigerians know the joke with. They know the misbehave. Imagine say Nigerians throw in politics, said they still dealing with you. Hey my God! All right. <laughs> Thank you for the news. Okay. Mm, thank you for the news. Let's move on. I left the UK because of my mental health. Liar. You are a very big liar. You see all these Nigerians that they will relocate back to Nigeria and start shouting. And I left the UK because I was always sick. I was depressed. I was having anxiety. This was going on. That was my friend is a lie. They did not leave UK because of depression, anxiety or anything. They are lying. Let me tell you the reason most of them left UK. They came in as a student. After their student visa expired, they were not able to renew the visa. That one is one. They were not able to get another visa. I mean, be a work visa to extend their stay in the UK so they will go back to Nigeria the another set of people are those people who came to the UK as students they failed they failed they could not pass most of the time they will send you back to Nigeria to go and rewrite the course there but I'm very very surprised that even people I know that could not even pass the university I went to like people that did not pass that they were sent back to Nigeria they are not online, they are not on TikTok shouting and I left UK because my mental health was at stake. I left UK because I was not able to, I was not living fine, I was not this, I was not that. How come you are discouraging people to not to come to UK? How come you are saying so many things? Is it that you want them to stay in Nigeria with you? You don't want them to go? What are you saying, Seth? Exactly. Let me tell you guys, if you see all this post, I left UK because of my mental health. My friend, and uh, you see some post, they will say, my friend sent his family back to Nigeria because they were depressed in the UK. UK was not, it's not good for them. Jackpot is not for everybody, blah, blah, blah. It's a lie. Most of them cannot secure a visa to stay in the UK. If you think I'm lying, Post your own. Tell me why. Like, post in the comment section. Tell me why you left the UK. Say the truth. Say the truth why you left the UK. Don't lie at all. Stop. People should stop discouraging people that you left UK for this or that. That it's better to stay in Nigeria. Go back to Nigeria. After you spend so much to come to the UK, now you they send you back. You are going online lying to people that eh, I went back to Nigeria because I could. Eh, UK is not good for me. UK this, UK that. My mental health. You are a big. Yeah. You don't think when I know they hear this thing about mental health, mental health. How can somebody that you born into poor family, not be rich? You never even. They no born. You have not seen money before. You have not seen anything before. If you see those people who come to Ghana, they will say, any small thing, oh, my mental hair. I'll be hearing that something about mental hair, something, something. Like, I keep asking myself, your father no rich. Your mother is not a rich person. You are a poor person from poor background. You don't suffer for life. But a little way money don't enter their hand. They say mental hair, though. Uh, people, like, sure, let me not talk about that one because I will say, because I don't know why... People will say they're born in the poor family are the people who are Nigerian in Nigeria. I'm talking about Nigeria entirely. That in the Nigeria. I have never seen a rich Nigerian will show up. You know, go even see the rich people in about like people who are rich. You know, go see them talking anyhow on social media. You know, go even see them. Now the poor Nigerians are taking social media like they are throwing up and all those stuff. Yeah, Mr. Naya. Good evening, good evening, brother. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, you see, uh, I have something a little bit to say about Ghana and Nigeria. We all just we are just misleading ourselves and all that kind of stuff. People take everything to their own hands and then doing things in a different ways, but. See the problem of me, I'm a Ghanaian. See the problem of Nigerians. Eh? There is a guy that he says something. He's a British guy. That he says something. Me, all my friends, all my friends that I know since I've been in Europe, all my friends are Nigerians. Their character, eh? Their character. And if they see me and I'm not with that kind of ideas, they are not happy. Their character. How can somebody be taking money from somebody and he, he, he taking money from somebody and he, he say that that is a job? 
even his father that is in nigeria i never worked for him while he will come to this country and he will come and work here so his mind the scum that is coming people is a good job for him you see let me tell you the difference between ghana and nigeria we Ghanaians, we are like white people our mind eh, it be black white way they inside we know be fools oh we will not be fools you see Ghanaians where they did there nobody they gonna away be fool if you give a Ghana man money right now eh first thing go think is back home first thing is his family that's how Ghanaians are we you know they make like friends friends so first what we go do it be our family we know the joke because when you see any nigerian you see that's when they say somebody is smart eh? it doesn't mean say you could call yourself a giant of africa blah 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 and all that kind of stuff fool. Every Nigerian I know buy house for UK here. I know talk say you know be good thing. Every Nigerian I know he buy house for UK here. But ask yourself, say that white people where they come to Africa, when they come to Africa, when they can't steal our money from Africa, the white people when they can't mislead us, where we, we they do everything till today they, they correct money, can they make their country great? you you travel from nigeria or travel from ghana can't they here you can't buy a house for here i'm not talking be bad thing but think about home your great grandfather is where they build a house where you go there is a way they call a family house you know how they suffer for ghana there or nigeria there where they build that house where you you go there is how you say the family house you you get your own now you can't do europe say you you be your guy can't they Europe come by buy a house for here? But your people they back home they suffer. Ghanaians, we will not they fool like that too. Any money we they get for Europe here, we make sure say we they build for Africa. That is why, and even the government though, where they, they make Ghana like this, who it be the people where they, they make Ghana so every European way they any Ghana man where either I get paper, you know, get paper for Europe, he get house for Ghana. Me, they tell you, any Ghana man, I know. Eh? Any Ghanaian, I know, I don't even know. Me, I know, say the Ige house for Ghana. That's how serious we, we are. So when the Nigerians they see, say Ghana, they improve. You know what I'm saying? The government, oh, it be we, where will they make the country they go so? When you got this East Legon, this Trasaco, where you see, oh, it be Ghanaians where they're abroad, where they go buy, buy them houses, so. Oh. Don't be any ordinary person. They're the people where they're gonna. But you go ask Nigeria guy, why you no go go Nigeria, go buy a house for there? Make your your brothers or your cousins or your niece, they stay inside. No, 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 they go kill me. They go kill me. You see the bad mind where they get? They go kill me. Oh, I'd rather buy a house for here. I day here, I don't get problem. Look, how how can how can you 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 be thinking like this? You they go, they think like this. But the white man will come to your country. He can't take the money, oh, take come back here. Can't develop the place. Where you, you come back here. So you come back here, you can't kind of top the thing where they they tell do you know, you can't kind of top them up. Can't they buy a house for here, they here till you, you die. Any Nigerian where I go, I go, that's it, be careful or waiting. Any Nigerian guy where I go, say, oh, me, I know we'll go do anything for Nigeria. Oh, I know we'll go do anything for Nigeria. Oh, I know we'll go do anything for Nigeria. I go build all my assets for here. How? How can you do that? So your great great grandfathers where they buy, buy the houses. Where you go there inside the family house? Now, food and food where they build that house where they did there. It be food and food. You hear me say, your, see, Nigeria know they appreciate. You know they, <coughs> they know they appreciate. That's why they, they, that country is struggling. They know they appreciate. Look at their leaders. That Dumelo or something like that. Go sit down. Go to the talk. Say, uh, 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 Ghana is like a Toyota Camry. 
where Nigeria is Lambo Magini. Look at foolish politician where they like it. That man, you see that man where they there's so if you MP for Ghana, you know if you chop MP for Ghana, I'm telling you. You know if you chop MP, if full more than anything, if you Ghanaian, where you go talk this thing, immediately as a politician, where you go talk this thing against Nigerians, when he come back, they go sack him. When you go talk anything, if you be politician, where you go talk something like that about Nigerians, eh? When they come back to Ghana, eh? Or if they Ghana with authority, they go call up. The IGP go call up. If you don't take time, you go lose the job. That man not go feel be MP self, MP for Ghana. MP. If you assembly man, that man not go feel be assembly man for Ghana. Make it go, Nigeria, you put your ears inside. You know, fool. So when you see Ghana, they develop where well, you, Nigerians, you come, can't they there? Respect the law. The law way they there, respect. Because you people know they are appreciating all the time, everywhere where you go, you won't go spoil the thing where they there. How can Africa, how can we go, go on like that? How? Everywhere, go Italy. They, they cut, they, they kill their, their own Nigeria people. They, they throw, throw them inside bush because of drugs. Then they cut cut, then they kill their own Nigeria, they cut cut their meat, they throw, throw inside the forest from Italy. But where they go, oh, I'm, a, I'm a Nigerian, oh, I'm a tough guy. You are not a tough guy, you are stupid. You are stupid. Tell us, son. Nobody in Nigeria, oh, nobody. See, the most lovely people where you go meet the Nigerians. And it be them to when when they open their mouth where they, they talk, says no, they come out. Lovely people you go meet be Nigerians zoo. But when they open their mouth where they, they talk, they, they talk anyhow. You understand? You go work for here. Wait. Wait. Go build a house for your country. Go build out. How much? Six bedroom, five bedroom, go build up. Take five years, be build them for there. Make your niece, your uncles, or anybody go go stay there. Because when you look at you feel in Ziano, you people, you get bad mind. So your uncle went there, Nigeria said, you get bad mentality, you know. You go go past some place that kill you. Which can people be this? So how can Nigeria grow? How can you people survive? How? How, how how can you people you they call yourself giants? How can you people make the country progress? How it is the government go you go around go they build be two two bedroom like how did they do if it if it if it UK yes and where we are with this self where they build that you go pay rent you go pay rent before you they give you council house you go pay you stay inside they pay so how come why can't you go small money you get take especially yourself in Nigeria. Go be so nice house. That area they go develop. But they don't want to do them. So if you are going to do them, my uncle go kill me. How can your uncle kill you? Because your uncle to be another bad person. So the whole Nigeria as a whole, no. Problem. Now when they go to different countries where they go go humble themselves so that they learn something about. See, Europe where we, we are the come. You know what I'm saying? Money. You have to be. You have to get conscious. You have to get mind to live in Europe. You have to get mind. You have to love the system. If you don't love the system, you go, they, either they repatriate you, you day here, you go mental, or you die. It be three things. If you know they obey the law, where you go enjoy them. Eh? Either you die, or they repatriate you, or you just, you just you go mental. This, that's how Europe is. People will come here, can't they do your whole, can't they do this? People, their wives, they go to fuck them, take their wife, take and go club, you know, go marry the woman to uh, just go spoil her. Like, why? Why, Nigerians? Why? 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 You go to different country, where the country to accept you. Gonna call that country say Como Ghana. Ghana be common for you. 
Come on. See, that kind of nonsense where they, they go, they, where they, they talk, talk, they, they talk, talk, they, they talk, talk. Make I tell you people, if Ghanaians say they go wake up, eh? If Ghana, they say they go wake up. Me, I know one of two cities for Ghana, where me are from, eh? If they say they go wake up, no Nigeria go be stand there. I will tell you, they go even chase you go Nigeria. If you people don't know, naturally we are bad, oh, but we know they talk. Naturally, we are bad. If you don't take time, they go even follow you go Nigeria, go fight the people where they did Nigeria too. It be me they tell you. We will not fight like say this thing. Oh. We they fight city to city. This city go go meet different city. If it now where that thing stop, Robbins is that where they stop that thing. Like city go go to different city, go fight. So a crowd go go to a shaman. A shaman go come Nima. Come fight. We saw who they fight oh. Yes, maybe they tell you. So you know what I'm saying? People, you go there, Ghana, you go to go, ga, small Ghana. Small this, this, small this. That, that way you people you go meet the crazy ones, eh? People go see say if the police they go. You know, he said Ghana, if if problem come, police they, they stay away. You know, he said that they fear that they stay away. That's why the police they be humble. They know how to talk to people. Because they know say the boys when they strike. Now one day they, they show. But see that you go carry cutlass. You know what you know about cutlass? What do you know about cutlass? Where you go go carry cutlass? You go go carry gun. What, what, what do you know about those things? Make we love each other. Make we make our country great. Make we Nigerians where they day Europe, where they say they get millions. Make they go back, go develop Nigeria. Make they go back, go invest in Nigeria. Don't stay in Europe. Say you go buy your house for a year. Yeah, it's fine. But the small money where you go get, take you go buy the house, you know, where you go to get the, the interest for top. You know. Take go Nigeria, go build, make your family to enjoy some. That's how Ghanaians are. So every home for Ghana, where the person they are abroad, he get your own house. He get your own house with this side. He get your own house. This transaction where you put the see where you say it's legal. Oh, people where they they Europe where they go buy them. You know, be say this thing. People where they they Europe, you know, be foreigners come buy them. Why you people don't want to do this thing? You stay here. They Nigeria they spoil. In the spoil. In the spoil. Why? You people are not in, in, ah later later my brother thank you very much thank you ninja ninja news good day good afternoon how you doing right on yeah uh, i'm online this afternoon i saw your page that you boom man king we are talking about in ghana there he even so proud, confident that oh, everybody, every Yubo, they are invited. Mm. From now to another October or something like that, as he was talking about 24th or something like that, he was talking about for the Ayan Festival. That means I believe and I thank God that you played a video in here, and that's why he was very so bold. Come out. Uh, saying it online that oh, we have uh, something to do on that time that's good mm. that's good that's good no that's about that that's good so we are waiting for that day to come okay i wish play this audio make it here um, to know he himself know he what he's doing if he's if he's right we are waiting for that day to come if he buy Ghana police to bo to guide him that day, we are going to know. No problem. Let the day come. Thank you. Bye bye. Good evening, Mr. Manager. I greet you and your and your listeners. I hope we are you are doing well. Well, uh, this is a short message to my countrymen, my Ghanaian brothers and sisters. And uh, I pray that I will be able to confine myself to uh, a limited time uh, uh, 
so that I don't take so much time. Well, uh, I listened to your program about this uh, Igbo, Igbo man and the festival, the Yam festival that uh, he is trying to organize or he has organized. If he has done it, I don't know. Because I listened to the, the audios this evening, this very evening. Well, it's very unfortunate that some of my countrymen have actually uh, taken things uh, a little bit over over the bar, if I am permitted to use uh, that word. And uh, I feel very, very disturbed about, about it. What we should know, my people, what we should know is that every country has its laws and regulations. So if someone obeys the law, the law itself protects that person, please. So if the so-called Igbo king in Ghana follows the due process of the law regarding the organization of festivals or debates or whatever he wants to do, I think the law will also give him the full protection of whatever he is, he is doing. And so to come out on the social media to give warnings and condemnations and insults and all that, please, my countrymen, this will not stop him from doing what he wants to do. You see, so if we as citizens of the country do not want foreigners to celebrate their festivals on our land, which I think we have every right to ask, then we should force our lawmakers to change the law. It is when they change the law that will stop them from doing what they are doing. So please, countrymen, let's agitate within the framework of the law. Secondly, if we don't want our Ghanaian women to marry outsiders, then let's start talking to our women. And if they will listen not to marry foreigners, then we have won the battle. If only that will work. I know Hungary is a country in Europe that makes it difficult for their women to marry Africans, Asians, uh, and Indians, those from third world countries, to say the least. Any Hungarian woman who wants to marry an African, Indian, Asian, should leave Hungary and marry that person and stay with the husband in his home country. Even with this law, Hungarian women still fall in love with people from third world countries. You see, my people, the heart is something very complicated that nobody can actually uh, study it or control it. No matter what you do, there will still be someone who will actually uh, go astray and then find his or her way to to somewhere else that we don't want mm. you see when i was growing up my grandparents they used to tell me and my siblings that we should we should not let our hearts mm. rule our heads this was in reference to our choices of women and men we associated with you see and i think they were they were concern about our safety and so this is what we should be telling our daughters or our women that they should be very careful with whom they associate with and so if we are not able to educate our women to refrain from foreigners which i think it might be a bit difficult or a bit to the extreme then they have every right to marry who, who, whoever they want to marry and we cannot blame them so please 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 i beg your pardon let us let's not drag our women into this we are fighting for a purpose 
We want to redeem our country. We want to save our country from criminals. So that we or even the foreigners who are law abiding can live in peace. So please, with due respect, let's all agitate or render our, our grievances within the law. If you want to come to the social media to give warnings to uh, this Igbo, so-called Igbo king, uh, the government chair and all that, I don't think it will work. Okay, if the law protests this man, or he has gone to ask permission from the government chair, from the police, from the district uh, inspector general of police, and we go there to ban or to disturb whatever they are they are doing. We are going to be arrested. This is a, this is a fact. So please, let's do our things in an orderly manner. We are Ghanaians. You see it. I know we are hurt. Uh, we are worried about the direction of our country. But insults and uh, condemnations and that kind of thing, please, with due respect, it's not going to help us. So please, let's tone down some of these things. It will alienate so many people, so many Ghanaians from the good cause that we are actually trying to achieve. So this is my piece of advice. I think I haven't taken so much time. And uh, I greet all, all of you, and I hope we will listen to this advice. So thank you, Mr. Manager, and may God bless you. Okay, bye-bye. Yo, good morning to each and everyone. Yeah. I would like to speak to my whole brothers and sisters as Ghanaians. Yeah. In most at, at times, <clears throat> sorry, in most at times, when someone speak badly or speak harshly on audio to foreigners or even to someone of our elders, of our elders here. People do attack some of the people who speak so harsh to the people. Uh, please, my brothers and sisters, I can cast him, you say, or war, or the armchair, and a eka. Yes. Kukru kukru ni jaya kike kike no sube jaye. Kukram wan fere so betare o hone soa. Wan so wan fere se wode asawa betare so. God. These are the three proverbs that I have given in my account language. Yeah. Shwe. Yeni na as we Ghanaians, we are here and we have been hearing a lot of what Nigerians have been doing in our country till now. The criminal acts they are creating in our country how our leaders are where our leaders are taking us to example our president president ekufu adu where he is taking ghana the economy to the country to Look 
at how he has allowed the Nigerians coming to Ghana, doing criminal acts, kidnapping, human trafficking, frauding, robbery, all so forth and so forth are caused by the Nigerians. And also look at the Nigers. You see this. Immediately, South Africans drove Nigerians some way back from South Africa and they started coming to Ghana. When they came, they kidnapped three girls from our country and killed them painfully in Takradi. They killed them. They killed them. And they have been continuing doing it and doing it and it is getting bad worse 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 and we don't have any good leader in the country so he has never been taking any action against these people because he is having nigerian children in the country you see that and because the the members of the members of the, in the parliament also because they are not using uh, their their senses wisely excuse me to say to also to do what they have to do they have also kept quiet without taking any action of all those things good if I will not say, it's about getting to two months ago. And they kidnapped our dear young sister, Abigail Afiba. Also, she come from Takrade. A friend said they should go to Nigeria. She told her mom, she, it, she told her husband, they are going to Takradi. Uh, they are going to, sorry, excuse my word. They are going to Nigeria and come back. Someone just go, went to kidnap this girl in Nigeria and has killed this girl painfully. As a wise president and as a wise leaders, none of them couldn't even take any action when they heard that this girl has been kidnapped in South Africa. They were all moot. They were all moot. And bloggers who have good sense of humor they could have also done something about it and also even talk about it to, for even the president even to wake up and say something about it the only thing Ghanaian bloggers they know is using their platform for politics if they've never had politics they will never speak about anything. We have got a Nigerian who is called Mr. Manager using his platform for we Ghanaians to say something to our Ghanaian brothers and sisters and even to our leaders to wake up. 
but when someone is speaking with pains with action some of you are saying that this person is too harsh why why are you talking like this why are you saying this why are you saying this sometimes they say oh or the amateur and the echo so some of you will be making audios and be attacking those who are speaking with pains with hardship with boldness you said they shouldn't say what they are saying my dear brothers and sisters if you are a woman on mr manager's platform or i don't know anyone in ghana if you are one of the leaders sitting with your wife in a comfortable chair eating and drinking you see into water but i'm hoping one day one day it will come to your 18 and then you also take your action and we will see it because what i will say to you some of the people who always attack those who are boldly people who speaks out this is what i will say that more and they will continue to be doing it and it will enter your 18 box and we will see how you people will react we will see how you people will react a nigerian so ma a man so called who called himself Ibo Ken. Ibo Ken. are you people so sensible enough to give a permission to this man to be doing Igbo festival in the country do you people when you people think uh, sleep on bed do you people put your head on pillow do you people put your head on pillow as you the leaders the kings the so-called kings the so-called president the so-called members of the parliament do you people put your head on pillows how can you people allow a foreigner to come to your country and build a palace in your country are Ghanaians having a palace in Nigeria how can someone have a palace in a foreign country and be doing festival in the foreign country and be calling the ancestors in the foreign a foreign country pouring libation every year in the foreign country oh my dear brothers and sisters Ghanaians so are you people say in su toyen when want a dear chance when we say a former afro A form a ditching a woman was a form of four Ghana for Mamun Yachum Mamun Yachum. They said little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Eh? So, who day? 
kerizin egu foma enye wudi gu fom na na etene eko but wudi gu fom etin kakran kran 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 kra ubun se na kerizin aji e fom wano mbibre nye yempeni fono e yeno dachi dachi bino sa diwe a omu yeno ene bema a hoho aji yema yeno afa enti se ye kasa with boldness se won't mean kasa with boldness no so bi kasa with boldness ha me me jina ho en kanchiro bi se Ewo, Mr. Manager, e yinu so, ana enchro, asembi, enti ye nipane se, shere, nipane echre. When they were killing your people, even they have killed a soul. Obia wo ne ba, anye mwne nine months, wokum ne fri yase, wokum ne fri ati yase fwo, asa ase so. And no one made me Mr. Manager. If he did not so, you didn't even come and stand on Mr. Manager's platform. You didn't even say any word to your leader, your president, about the Nigerian who are killing your people, taking people's souls from their. Uh, from their hands you couldn't say any word because you are a kind of a person you are not bold enough to speak out but when someone insults someone you just write something telling the person oh this person is like that oh this person you see what they have been doing to Kennedy Japan this is how they are doing also to some of the people. Kennedy Japan on Jimmy yo. Kennedy Japan on Jimmy yo. The man is wise. He is wise and he is a warrior. Tete emre muno. Yen se ni peya ye wo ewo ye muno. Ebi enana ye nana no ye ancestors no omwo ewo mu a enka gana enke omo ntimi anyi gana o man gana nsi o yes because that time no no omo ye one the speaker they speak with powerfulness and they go with with group Waba, waba tu o mai, enko fo se o mai. Nese, those who are bold enough are speaking out. You just come and write unnecessary things. You just come and say something on uh, on uh, on Mr. Manager's uh, platform, an audio replying to the person. Hey, why are you doing this? Why are you doing so? This, this, this. look. Semitis and Semina, Ayana, a binumo emissary. Ayana, a binumo emissary. A fever. Who say any pana woke sa and some ditchery will be away bold enough? No. Conacofa a fever, a cra, a bra, sent back. Neum said ye. O kano, o ye bold enough. Sankofa afiba, ekra, ebre, no. Ni yon so, sanka ati asifu asasis. She, minu yon mwa mwa uti emwe ene ewo Mr. Manager platform so. Mamu nye nye achum. Mamu nye nye achum. When the man was speaking, the Igbo king was speaking. He said he is inviting 
everyone to come for the festival. Is he owing the country? You see the cowardness of the man. He is inviting people for his festival to come in the country. Whereby those people coming in the country, they are criminals. Then they have to come to the country and stay and be doing their criminal acts in the country, isn't it? You those leaders in the country, have you seen where you people are taking our country to? You do so-called leaders giving you our country to a foreigner to build a palace between him a uh, uh, how do you call it a festival a young festival and be calling his, his ancestors from in Nigeria in country in the country Ghana have you seen you people seen where you people are taking Ghana to you the Ghana chair Have you ever seen where you, you the government chair, also you are taking Ghana to? So when you people sleep, excuse me, my no, yes, I will never say excuse me. When you people sleep, do you put your head on the pillow? Do you people put your head on the pillow as leaders in the, in the country? You see how coward you people are as leaders. You people doesn't think of the country. You don't you people don't, doesn't think of the citizens in the country, especially the president. He cares what is happening to someone because if the president care of anyone in the uh, in the country he would have even think of Afiba. What happened to the lady in Nigeria? And he, he could have even saved the, our, our sister's life. But he was moot because he is ha he's also having Nigerian children. He has been sleeping with a Nigerian woman, giving birth with Nigerians. Nigerian. So, look... Yeah, he, he he is careless. He is careless. He won't go and say something whereby the children will be coming to harm him. No, he is not coward. That is how our president is behaving now. Yes. So if you, the citizens living in the country, if someone is bold enough to speak out, and you people will be saying, oh, hey, why? Then, then it's up to you. But look at where you, you, you the person always be uh, attacking the person speaking. Look at your condition before you attack the, the person also who speaks out. Yeah. That person speaking out, maybe you don't know. He's speaking for you. That is why he's speaking out. But if you think the person is not making sense and you are Mr. Right, Mr. Right, always criticize the one speaking the truth. Yeah, because what I have seen is that my country people, you people don't like the truth. Yes. That is why most at times uh, uh, how uh, Mr. Kennedy always said he always said yes this is how my country Ghana, Ghanaians are when you are speaking out the truth they said <laughs> you, 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 you talk too much yeah this is how Ghanaians are so they will be continue kidnapping you people and as you people head, he is going to do festival in Ghana 
and he's inviting Igbos from all over the planet, all over uh, the planet. From when he said all over the planet, Igbos living also in Nigeria. Yes, they should come. Those living in uh, England, everywhere, they should come because now he is owing the uh, the country. You see how coward we people are allowing foreigner to be calling foreigners to be coming to your country you see how we 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 Ghanaians we are our leaders are he doesn't if the man even doesn't uh, have any respect for we the Ghanaians living in our country can someone goes to Nigeria and be doing all these things in Nigeria? Mr. The man calls so, uh, a Nigerian, Igbo King, please, if you will go back to your country and be doing this in your country, it will be better you go back to your country and do all those kind of, kind of things. Not in Ghana. You'll be doing all those things there. We don't accept you to be doing all those things. What you are doing, it can bring a problem to you one day. You make one day, the people, the citizens in Ghana will be getting annoyed and they will be attacking you people, whereby you people will never be happy about it. Stop that yam festival you are doing, and also that your so called Ken Palace try and stop it. You can never have palace in someone's country. Stop it. My president is not wise enough, the government is not wise enough to tell you to stop, but the citizens can tell you this. Because we own the land. We own the land, not you. Not the, uh, uh, the so-called Ekufuadu. Not the so-called Gamanche. The Gamanche, he is from somewhere and we gave him a, somewhere to, a place to work, to be settled. So, you the Igbo king, the so-called Igbo king, you are not a king. I know you are a leader of a community for the Igbos in Ghana. And you want to make yourself nya nya, ye ye. So you are calling, you have made yourself as Igbo king. Put a stop of that. Sensible person is speaking with you now. Please, stop what you are doing in the country before the citizens of Ghana they make a looter against your people stop it it doesn't matter that you have registered what you are doing in the country no it is not right because our leaders they have never thought twice it is not allowed We can correct our leaders for their wrongdoing. That what they are doing is not correct. It is not allowed anywhere. So don't be thinking that you have regi uh, registered it and police people can even guard you about for that. So you have that audacity. No, it doesn't come anywhere to go to someone's country to be doing to be pouring libation as a foreigner, doing th those things there. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work anywhere. You can't have any palace in anywhere, in any country. Look, they said, a word to a wise is enough. The one so-called Igbo king, stop what you are doing. It is not good. It is not done anywhere. 
the festival when it gets to the festival please take your wife and your children your family go back to nigeria go and celebrate your festival in nigeria but not in the country ghana you don't have any so any so-called ancestors in ghana here is ghana here is not nigeria there's no place called Igbo in ghana please am i making sense to you as a king please share this audio also to reach the king please advise your people stop killing and killing Ghanaians rather than to be doing inviting criminals in the country for them to be coming to the festival please it is not done anywhere it is not done anywhere thank you very much for your understanding we don't want you to, we don't want to hear anything again about advertisement of festival or even we don't want to see this uh, palace anymore please a word to a wise is enough please stop that it is not done anyway thank you as you can see if you see anybody they talk here you know they make sense if you see, see anyone who they talk you know they make sense for your ear you can correct the person you can educate the person help yourself you can educate that particular person waiting in the talk you know they be tell that person say anything the person they talk you know they be yes you can reply the person you can correct the person because uh, everybody they listen to you here and the, the most the most important one everybody needs to understand you know immediately with the release video here audio here before you know people don't take them to another platform so now if you talk good or bad it's in another platform it's, I hope you understand because people will download it and make use of it now when you listen to that audio in another platform and the way the audio is not educated and people are consuming it and we are okay with it then your message is going far <laughs> that one my biggest that's why i said if you anyone talk you say you are not okay with that person you can reply to the person you can correct the person the place the, the place that you know say this person is okay yeah it's okay yeah it's not okay you can correct the person and you will be correct don't be angry taking your correction because all of us here we are not perfect yes we are not perfect you understand i just want to appreciate everybody my name is master manager and i just want to appreciate all of you because all of us here we are here to learn and we are here to correct things because one thing i won't make you people to understand don't think see in this platform in ghana we have almost for people who are in parliament who normally listening to this program why in nigeria we have like one person always any any day i turn up in this the person watch in nigerians I, I have one senator who normally listening to the to, the, to this program and one in ghana i have like almost to four parliament parliamentary people who already watch this video and when something go wrong before you know they will call me immediately oh master manager it's like yesterday now when insult was going one person called me immediately master manager oh what did that guy they talk is violent is that is this then before normal people started call me i hope you understand so don't anything that's why when you are talking here trying to educate or do make point not insult not anger if you know you get anger don't bring anger here nature say and again first listen before you send audio watch video first to the end give yourself almost to 24 hours from that moment that you publish audio you can give yourself in 24 hours to think about it before release video so that you can make sense okay so some video self we can post here it may not go viral on my platform but another people can take it and it can also go viral in their platform and one thing about this uh, this thing we are doing here is that you go people post some video today those videos that you post today some people can still download it next year they can still download it and paste it you know the, it's continue messaging that's so it is you go post and right now gradually gradually people are sharing it people are downloading it people are making use on it and the, the message you send here is going far 
That's why you have to be careful whenever you are talking. Try to be careful with your word. What do I know? <laughs> By the way, what do I know? Do I? Who am I to advise you? Because majority of you are more, even more educated and grow than me. Then who am I? But always to share your opinion to people. If people are okay with it, we we'll move on. God bless you and bye bye for now. Thank you.